Hi, my name is Katie. I'm the assistant ranger at Averton and welcome to my garden. Today I'm going to be telling you all about composting worms and wormery. So what is a wormery? A wormery consists of at least two compartments, a lower collection sump and an upper composting area, which is where the composting waste goes in and the worms get to work. As time goes on, you build up your tiers. So you have different layers of composting areas and I have three here to add on once my top layer becomes full. Each tray can hold up to 15.5 litres of kitchen waste to be composted by these lovely worms. So if we take the lid off here, you can see a moisture mat on top. This is used to heat the moisture in as the worms need a wet environment to be able to work. And it also helps protect them if the wind catches the lid, etc. So we take the moisture mat off. We can see inside all the kitchen waste that I've been putting in there over the last couple of weeks. So there'll be no worms on the surface as they work below the surface. And you can see in here, I have various vegetable peelings, uh, a little bit of bread, eggshells, um, and I have tissue in here as well, which I'll go on to explain a bit later. So if we bury down here into the compost, we can start to see some worms appearing. In there. So you may notice that they're not working uh, very well at the moment. They're not moving very much. Uh, that is because it is quite cold uh, today. Uh, so they're entering a torpid state where they don't really move very much to conserve energy. As it gets a bit warmer, they'll be working a lot more efficiently. So I just placed the vegetable waste on top like that to keep them warm. Between composting worms and earthworms, so composting worms live in decaying organic matter, such as in the wormery, whereas earthworms are soil dwellers. So here we have some earthworms that I collected from my garden earlier. As you can see, they've all gone towards this big clump of soil. And have a look at their shape, their size, and their color as well. And that is a good way to tell the difference between the two. In here we have our composting worms and these worms are called tiger worms. So here is an earthworm that I have in my hand and you can see that they are a dark brownish red colour and they're quite small, has his band around the middle. He's having a little look around on my hand. So these are the guys that you will find in your garden so if it's wet they'll come to the surface or if you look under your pots you'll probably find them. So on my hand here, I have our composting worms. These worms are called tiger worms. As you can see briefly here through the stripes that they have going down their bodies, hence their name. They reproduce quicker. Um, they are very efficient for the job that they do. You can see their stripes down their bodies a lot more better in this shot. They are covered in a lot of dirt at the compost at the moment. No, you're not going down my sleeve. So here we have the two next to each other. On the left is the tiger worm, the composting worm, and on the right is your earthworm that you will find in your garden. So you can clearly see here the difference in size and shape between the two. Also the difference in speed. <laughs> here we have a large earthworm that I have found. So this is more of the size uh, of the composting worms, but you can still see the shape um, is different with these worms. They're not as wide as the composting worms. And even though their segments here look like stripes, if you look closer at tiger worm, you can see that the stripes are more of a pigmentation. Worms are most active in warm and moist conditions, ideally between 18 degrees and 25 degrees Celsius. 
uh, their activity noticeably declines below 10 degrees and above 30 degrees Celsius also. Today's range in between 3 degrees to 8 degrees, so they would be more in a torpid state. But as you probably noticed, the sun is out and as the worms were on my hand, they were moving around a lot more. Composting worms prefer a pH of between 6.5 and 7. If you find that your wormery is becoming too acidic, there's various different ways that you can help. One is by adding eggshells. Eggshells are full of calcium and they help neutralise the soil. Adding crushed eggshell into your wormery also helps the worms as it's a gritty substance which helps aid digestion and there's also evidence shown that this helps worms in their reproductive status as well. You can also add a substance called lime mix, such as we have here, which helps neutralise the soil as well. This helps keep the compost mixture nice and sweet for the worms. If you allow your wormery to become too wet, this can cut off the worm's oxygen supply. It can also lead them to go down into the sump, which can drown them. So it's really important to not allow your wormery to become too wet. By draining off the sump using the tap regularly, usually every week, or adding newspaper, uh, egg boxes, kitchen roll, all screwed up and placed into the compost. Hence why I had the tissue in the compost earlier to soak up any extra moisture. To mix in your kitchen roll, your egg box, your newspaper into the compost mixture will help soak up all the moisture from within as well. So what foods can you compost? So you can compost all fruits except citrus peel or I advise not really much citrus fruits as that can make your pH in your wormery quite acidic. Uh, you can compost any cooked vegetables, any raw vegetables, except for raw onion, garlic, shallots and leeks, as these are best to be cooked first before you put in, um, or if you do put them in raw, in really small amounts. Uh, tea bags, eggshells, coffee grounds, uh, small amounts of bread are fine too, uh, limited amounts of newspaper, shredded office paper, cardboard, preferably not glossy magazines, um, as that has plastic in it. Um, and very small amounts of garden waste, such as your annual weeds, leaves or grass cuttings. But I advise to have small amounts of that in there as the worms don't get through that as quickly as they do with the kitchen waste. To avoid putting into your wormery are things like dairy products, fats, meats, fish, bones, as these are all likely to attract pests and flies, which you do not want in your wormery. Also, if you do have any scavenging foxes or badgers come into your garden, they will not hesitate to open your wormery. The lid and the moisture mat needs to be kept on the wormery. This stops moisture escaping or any extra liquid getting in. If you find that your wormery is too dry, you can spray water on just to make it a little bit more damp. Uh, but remember that the wormery gets most of its moisture from the food that you put inside it. And it's surprising how much water is inside your kitchen waste. It usually takes between eight and 12 months for a compartment to be full of ready to use compost. When you put your compost out onto your garden, make sure that you have removed any of the worms from it so you can put them back in your wormery to continue working on your other compartment. So liquid fertilizer is basically plant food. So this can be diluted one part worm liquid to 10 parts water and used on all your fruit, veggies and plants around your garden. Wormeries are a really exciting and fascinating way to be able to watch this natural process happen um, to be able to create organic compost for yourself and plant fertilizer and also to be able to see how the worms do it really you can see it firsthand um, especially if you check your wormer every day you can see how they're decomposing all the natural matter that you put in um, it's really rewarding um, and yeah eco-friendly uh, i love them and yeah, I'm crazy worm lady now. I hope this video has inspired you to love worms. They are absolutely incredible. They are the behind the scenes, uh, dustbin men of the world. Um, and they help us to be able to grow our food um, and live the way that we do. So I am very grateful to worms. And it's so amazing to have a wormery to be able to see how they I do it. I hope this inspires you to think about getting your own wormery. It's such a lovely addition to your garden. It's great for children to learn about the composting uh, process uh, and for adults too. It's great fun. And um, you get to see them hard at work. At the moment, they're all sleeping because it's cold. But as the warmer weather comes in, I'm sure they will be very active. Um, I haven't had an escapee yet. 
but as I said, they are really fast, so it could happen. Please comment on this video if you have any questions, if you want to know more about the wormery. Uh, I'll make sure that I update you all um, with how it's going. Um, but yeah, any questions, any advice that you have for me, any... Yeah, happy to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a really great Tuesday and I'll see you soon.